Hey kids, it's Miss Camp. We're learning about odds and evens, so I'm going to read this book called Even Stephen and Odd Todd by Catherine Cristaldi and illustrated by Henry Morehouse. I'll go ahead and lift up this book to where you can see it the whole time. Here we go. Eve and Stephen lived on the edge of town in a two-story house with a four-bicycle garage. He had six cats, eight gerbils, ten goldfish, and a flower garden with twelve sprinklers. I'll have two loaves of bread, said Eve and Stephen when he went to the bakery. At the library, he checked out four books, and at the post office, he bought eight stamps. Even Stephen loved everything to be even. There is nothing odd about him, his neighbors told each other. One day, even Stephen heard a knock on his door. He looked out the window. It was Cousin Odd Todd. Even Stephen pulled down the shade and turned off the lights. No one is home, he shouted. He heard three knocks. He heard five knocks. Then he heard seven knocks. Stop! Stop! Even Stephen cried out twice. He opened the door. Odd Todd, said Even Stephen. What a surprise! Hey, cuz, came a voice from behind. Three odded suitcase shaped suitcases. Guess who's spending the summer with you? Even Stephen looked up and down the street. He looked behind the bushes. He looked under the welcome mat. He did not see anyone except Odd Todd. It was going to be one long summer. The next morning, even Stephen got at got up at eight o'clock sharp. He was very hungry. I will make pancakes for breakfast, he said. If I make four pancakes, I can have two now and save two for lunch. How many cats does he have here? One, two, three, four. We can pair these up and pair these up so they're even. This is a what number? Say it. Four is a what number? Even or odd? That's right, even. If I make eight pancakes now, I can have four now and save four for lunch. Even Stephen smacked his lips. Counting pancakes made him very, very hungry. He decided to make 12 pancakes. That's six for now and six for lunch. Just then, Odd Todd woke up. It was nine o'clock sharp. Yum, I smell pancakes, he said. Odd Todd rubbed his stomachs. Run, run, blah, blah, blah. Odd Todd rubbed his stomach 13 times. He went to the kitchen. Even Stephen was washing his plate. He did not see his cousin. Chomp, chomp, chomp. How many times is that? Chomp, chomp, chomp. Is that three times? Hmm, is that an even number or an odd number? Ready? Yell it out, even or odd, three. 
That's right. It's odd because there's a pair here, but we have an, one that doesn't right here, right? Hmm. Odd Todd. Good morning, cuz, said Odd Todd with his mouth wide open. Even Stephen's mouth fell open too. He stared at the plate of pancakes. Now there were only three odd pancakes for lunch. What's so good about it? Even Stephen snapped. He went out to work in his garden. Hmm, you think he's happy? I think even Stephen likes even numbers, huh? Even Stephen loved his garden more than anything. Today, I will plant six rows of petunias. Eight rows, honk, honk, honk. Even Stephen looked up. Odd Todd rode by on a tricycle with three wheels, five different colored streamers, and a horn shaped like a parrot. Odd Todd waved with one hand. He was not watching where he was going. Odd Todd rolled straight into even Stephen's garden. Oh dear. Look at his face. Do you think he's mad? Sad? Or happy? Hmm. I think you know what he is. Go ahead and say out. What is his, what is he feeling like? What's his, that's right. He is mad. Even Stephen's face turned beet red. Two puffs of smoke came out of his ears. Oh dear. My prized four leaf clovers, he shouted. Look what you have done. I'm really, really, really sorry. Odd Todd said. I'll buy you lunch, he added. Even, even, even Stephen thought it over. It was almost noon. Odd Todd could not get into trouble as long as they were together. The pair of cousins headed for town. Even Stephen and Odd Todd went to the pizza place. I would like four slices, said Even Stephen, two with onions and two with olives. I would like three slices, said Odd Todd, one plain, one with extra cheese, and one with gummy worms. <laughs> Even Stephen looked at his cousin's pizza. There were nine pink worms on it. Nine squishy, wiggly worms. His face turned green. You look a little pale, cuz, said Odd Todd. You should get out in the sun more. Even Stephen and Odd Todd walked to the ice cream shop. I will have two scoops of double dip chocolate chocolate said even Stephen. I will have a triple nutty fudge sundae, said Odd Todd. Extra nuts, please. Even Stephen went to look for a seat. Odd Todd brought the ice cream. Even Stephen took a bite of his ice cream. Then he saw something odd. It was the nuts. There were exactly 11. Nuts, he screamed. Who put nuts on my double dip chocolate chocolate? Even Stephen's face turned blue. Four puffs of smoke came out of his ears. No need to thank me, cuz, Odd Todd smiled. They were extras. Oh, dear. On the way home, even Stephen saw a sign in the flower shop. Perfect garden contest. Big prize. I have a perfect garden, said even Stephen. Stephen. 
I have a perfect garden, said even Stephen. It's perfect because it's perfectly even. He wrote his name on the contest list. Hey, cuz. Check out this plant, said Odd Todd. Even Stephen didn't, did not answer. He ran home and turned on his 12 sprinklers. Then even Stephen took a nap. He dreamed about winning the big prize. Even Stephen woke up and went to his perfect garden. The contest judges will be coming soon. Even Stephen counted his six rows of petunias, his eight rows of daisies, and his ten rows of sunflowers, and one row of cactuses. Each cactus had five long, sharp needles. Even Stephen's face turned purple. Six puffs of smoke came out of his ears. Hmm. Does that look like even? That's five. Is five even? Is five number? Is that number five even? No, it does not have a partner, so it's odd. It drove even Stephen crazy, I bet. Let's keep going. That's it, even Stephen screamed. I can't take you anymore, cousin. You are too odd. Just then, the contest judge came over to the garden. Odd. Hmm. Yes, but I like it. We have a winner. He handed even Stephen two tickets. Two tickets to Twin Lakes. Even Stephen smiled. Now, who shall I take on? Who shall I take on this trip for two? He asked. Don't worry, cuz. Odd Todd said, my three bags are already packed. Oh dear, I guess who's coming along? Well, Odd Todd did help him, didn't he? That's the end of that story. I hope you guys liked it. Remember, um, when you're doing odd numbers, if there's three, or let's say five, we need to make sure that they all have partners. So let's count. One and two have a partner. Three and four have a partner. Does five? Nope. So five is what? Odd. Let's try six. Let's put these together. Those have partners. These have partners. These have partners. Is six even or odd? Say it. That's right. It's even. All right. Hope you like that story. And remember your odds and evens. Bye.